What's up? Matt here from Urchfab. In today's video, I'm going to be attempting to run a load of my welding and fabrication equipment through this uh, portable power station. So since these things uh, have come on the market, I've, uh, I've wondered if you would be able to run a welder off of one. In the past, when I've needed to use a welder or some fabrication equipment without a power supply, obviously you need a, a generator and you'd be quite surprised at how big of a generator you need to run a, a welder. So Bluetti have sent me this to try out. I told them what I wanted to try and do with it and they didn't give me any indication as to whether uh, it would work or not. Um, so it'll be a bit of an experiment but I'm going to just go around the workshop and just try the basic stuff, angle grinders, chop saws, uh, I've got a plasma cutter we can try, obviously welders, um, pillar drill, welders, the most important tool, the kettle, we'll save that till the end. The basic overview, we got 2400 watts to play with, so a welder at max is going to way exceed that, but obviously we can we can find the limit of that and turn the welder up to a point where we reach that limit. This has also got like a uh, it can surge to much higher than that. I think 3,500, so it will be able to take that initial like surge uh, that the welder is going to create or any any um, tool that that surges when you turn it on, like an electric motor or something. I've got a full 100% charge, I've just charged it and you can set uh, whether you want it to do a fast charge, trickle charge or normal charge. People always say like why wouldn't you just fast charge every battery just for the convenience of fast charging it. The best exp explanation to it I've ever heard is if you imagine a battery with all its cells, imagine you've got 20 of these pots all lined up and when you're charging, the idea is to keep the level of each one of these pots the same as it fills up, as it charges to the top. And then if you imagine your charge is a hose pipe and you're trying to squirt water into the 20 pots, if you have the water trickling out the hose pipe, you'll be able to trickle it into each one and keep it very balanced as they go up. Whereas if you turn the hose pipe up to full blast, so it's blasting out, you'll be filling one up one won't get any in it and it will be out of balance so, so I thought that was a pretty good explanation of charging the batteries and cells so there you go we got our DC input where you can put solar panels AC input where you just charge it circuit protection battery expansion where you can essentially add batteries onto this I think most people use these for, for camping and stuff like that. Um, so we're going to try something a bit different. So we'll start off with the Makita 9 inch. This is pretty high wattage, 2000 watts. Flicker onto AC. So that settles it about 1000 watts and then um, I'll zoom in on the little screen and we, as I load the, the weave up, you should see that climb up. Alright, so just clean that whole piece of metal up and that's used 4% on 96, so that's not bad. Let's drill some holes. Box. Just 
Just drilled eight 10 mil holes and we're now on, still on 95%. That was only using about 800 watts max. Let's try the Evolution saw. Okay, so I've just done seven cuts with that. We're still on 94%. I think that maxed it like 1600 watts. So let's try the linisher. This has got quite a big motor in it. It's not actually in a plate on it to see Give it a go. So the initial draw went up to 1800 watts, then it settles all the way back down to about 300. This here is telling you how long it will run for at this load. So I could do 7.2 hours of grinding on this miniature with uh, the amount of battery in there. So that is, uh, you know, that's a lot of power stored in that little thing. Okay, it's only reading a thousand watts, but it's not. Uh, I'll just plug it into the mains just to verify it's not something actually wrong with it. But it's uh, cutting in and out like very rapidly. So it's not, it's not loving that, I'm not going to attempt to uh, cut with that. So that, that one's a no-no. Okay, -no. Right, so what I'm going to do is just turn this right down. So this is two mil, and uh, you know that's that's pretty good.
So I used the Synergic settings to give it sort of an idea of how thick you would be able to weld using this. And the maximum we could get up to was two mil. If you go up above the two mil setting, it would actually, it wouldn't cut out on here, but it would cut the machine, the welding machine would cut out and you would lose the initial arc. Um, but if you keep it at two mil, it was able to do it. And I, I think it was reading about 2,500 watts on there. Um, and this is 2,400 2, max. So uh, I think if you wanted to do any heavy welding, obviously you're gonna need something with a, with, with a much higher wattage than that. But so um, I think that's the limit in terms of uh, being able to weld with it. But I'm pretty impressed with how long the thing's lasting. We're still on 88%. We're going to obviously do the kettle and make a cup of tea to celebrate all the work we've just done. Might as well give the phone a charge while we're at it. Charging. Alright, so what have we done? We've done uh, some grinding with a 9 inch grinder, drilled some holes with a pillar drill, cut some box section with the evolution saw. We weren't able to do the plasma cutter, did belt linisher, and then we we're able to do some welding. Potentially TIG welding might have been a good option because we could use the foot pedal to you know, really like ramp up on that maximum output. But yeah, I think overall, I'm pretty impressed with it. I think if you could get one with double the output, if you could get a 5,000 watt one, you'd really be looking at something that you could uh, use on site to to do some decent work. But this, this uh, like I said earlier, this is, uh, most people use these for camping and uh, you know running anything you would need. So this is something I'm going to be using when we go racing next year, um, and it's going to be really handy. You got loads of different modes. Uh, if you hold these two down, you can cycle through all the different modes. It's got Wi-Fi settings. It's got an app with it. So I've got an app on here where I can check stuff. I'll put a few of the specs on the screen here now. All the links will be in the description. If you want to uh, check out Bluetti and all the stuff that they do, then you can click on the link. There'll be a discount code there as well. If you do want to get yourself one, you can use the uh, code urchfab, get yourself a discount. So hopefully that was interesting. I find it quite interesting. But yeah, that's gonna be it for this one. Cheers for watching. See you on the next one.